one over here! I hope you're having a splendid day wherever you are in the world. You're supposed to be having a splendid day because we are back on YouTube. We are back on the F1 2019 game. And guys, it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna explain to you guys shortly why I've been absent for a month. But do not worry, YouTube for us is not dead. It is still the ultimate dream and we are pursuing it with everything we've got. We are heading to Italy for the Italian F2 weekend. And guys, practice did not go according to plan, as you guys can see here. My DRS stayed open after one of the DRS detection zones. The, the DRS failed, so I went straight into the wall and had to retire out of practice. So we are really on the back foot heading into qualifying. But this is Italy, this is Monza, the temple of speed. And um, you guys know I like speed, so we have to run good here around Monza. Qualifying is about to start here at the Autodromo de Monza for the Formula 2 feature race and the teams will be heading out onto the track any minute now. Guys, we are jumping straight into qualifying, but I'm going to use qualifying just to quickly tell you guys why I've been absent from YouTube for more than a month. Guys, I have gotten a new job, finally sitting at home for basically more... Okay, I got a little job last year for two months, but it wasn't really a job. Those people really just used me and they completely just really made my life a living hell. Guys, so I'm not going to count that. We are finally, in more than a year, finally gotten a proper stable job. Okay, so now you guys are thinking, oh, he's going to say he's quitting YouTube and all that type of jazz. No, 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 no. Guys, YouTube will forever stay my biggest and ultimate dream. We will pursue YouTube. You guys will unfortunately just not be getting three, four, five videos a week. What I'm going to be trying to do is you guys will have to wait till the weekends for me to post videos. That's the only, uh, that's the only time I'm going to get to post videos. So... I'm gonna stick it now out and try and do two videos every weekend. If we do more, we do more. Some weeks are gonna go past and you guys are not gonna get any videos whatsoever. But don't unsubscribe, don't stop supporting because it's you guys that are, that are going to make my dreams a reality, that are going to push YouTube so much higher that it will one day cover my salary and that we will go into YouTube full time. So if you wanna see more of my contact, the ball is now in your court. Start liking, start sharing, start subscribing. Get the followers coming in, guys. Please drop a like on the video down below to just to say welcome back because we are back on YouTube as we round the final quarter here to signal the end of qualifying here at Monza. We open up the throttle as early as possible and we are heading down the straight, the home straight, and we're gonna come across the line and pee! The grid is all set for the race tomorrow, but before we go, let's quickly remind ourselves of our top three which are Sete Camera, De Vries and Nicholas Latifi. It's time to leave for now, but we'll be back tomorrow when the feature race gets itself underway. Hello and welcome back to a classic circuit familiar to fans the world over. This is Monza. You can hear the cars ready to go. Certainly the fans are ready for some action. We're all set, so let's get this Formula 2 race underway. Monza is situated 12 miles northeast of Milan. It's 3.6 miles long and offers 11 corners. Seven of those are chicanes, putting a premium on good braking stability and traction. With a good slipstream plus the two DRS zones available, there should be a number of good passing opportunities on offer. I'm not the only one sitting here today who's looking forward to today's race. My friend and ex-GP2 champion Davide Valsecchi next to me is already on the edge of his seat awaiting the start of the event. How's it going today? Hello there, Alex. I'm great, thank you. And very excited to get started. I have a feeling we are in for a very special event today. We are nearly ready for the start of today's race, but in the meantime, let's take a look at the grid. A fantastic effort from Sergio Sete Camera yesterday puts him on pole position, with Nick de Vries slotting in alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Latifi, Giotto, Jack Aitken, and King, Schumacher, Joe, Delatraz, Antoine Hubert, Galeo, Machushita, Dorian Boccalacci, and Mazepin, Boschon, Eilat, Correa, and Giuliano Alessi, Calderon, 
Mahavir Raghunathan starts from the back of the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. side by side into the retifilio but don't break too late on these cold tires or you will hit someone thank you jeff that is quite self-explanatory guys nothing else to say then jam with me on the formation lap yeah Schumacher on our left hand side. We go for the dive up the inside of Guan Yu Zhou, heading into the Retifilio. If he gives me a little bit of a squeeze there, actually, I just gave him enough room. He didn't give me a squeeze at all. I don't know why I said that. But in any case, you guys can see that we are right behind um, Guan Yu Zhou as we head through this constant bending left uh, right hand. Uh, now, heading into the second chicane here at the, the brilliant Circuit de Monza. So, you guys, we dive up the inside of Guan Yu Zhou. We get the move done. And right ahead of us, Louis de la Traz and Sean Galella having the battle of a lifetime. And we're only we're not even halfway through the first lap. I have a look up the inside of oh, Louis de la Traz as we head here through the, the two death nuts. And now de la Traz is almost off track, and that's why you guys heard the Wah! But in any case, we get past Louis de la Traz, who is now under pressure from God You Show. So not too bad of an opening lap here for for ourselves driving as Antoine Hubert. Guys, basically. The one thing that I didn't want to happen with this 2019 F2 season was that I ran away with the championship like I did the 2018 one. And unfortunately it has happened. But you guys know what? Last season, the 2018 F2 season, Monza provided the best weekend 
well, the best video of our 2018 F2 season. Let's see if Monza can represent again. And please, sit back, relax, and enjoy one epic video that's coming your way. I guarantee it. Hashtag guaranteed. As we end the first step, you guys can see, I, guys, I, I did this recording like virtually before I started my job. So the, the memory is a little bit vague in my mind. But uh, trust me, I will catch along as we go along. T t t t don't you worry, I will catch up. That is actually uh, not such a camera. Nicholas and Sifi, Jack Aitken, and I can't remember the third driver who was battling there for one of the podium positions. But now we jump onto the POV of Jack Aitken. It is actually Jordan King. And now heading into the, the trip of Chicane, the second to last uh, sequence of quarters, basically. Jack Aitken gets past Jordan King, and he has now got himself up into P4 of this race. Now going on to the POV of Louis de la who I had a little bit of a kerfuffle with the first lap. Him and Quad Yusho are chasing me down as if I am the hunted and they are the hunters. You guys see, I stay to the inside. Deletrez does not. Oh, he goes for a last minute dive up the inside as I go in front of Quad Yusho to cover him off. Going through the corner, I get the power down coming out of the first and second quarter while well, the first chicane. And now jumping onto the very end of the next lap, this is the end of lap three. These guys will have DRS. So oh, actually, this is not quite your show. This is his teammate Luca Giotto who is battling with Sergio in the camera and Nick De Freeze for the race lead. It's only the start of lap four. Oh, 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 as the freeze cuts off in the camera. Oh, and he hits Giotto heading into the first quarter. These are basically the top three AI in Formula Two who are battling away at the slipstream and and top speed temple here at Monza. So now it is the freeze leading the way from. Giotto in P2 and set the camera in P3. We jump back to my POV guys. So I am right behind. I think this is Jordan King. It looks like Jordan King. We've got DRS. Dillinger has DRS on us, but he doesn't have the slipstream that we have from Jordan King. And as you guys see, heading into the corner, Jordan goes to the inside to defend from us. We go to the outside. We get the car turned and we are as light as possible onto the brakes heading into the chicane. But we get the move done. Okay, good work. Great pass. Pitting this lap then. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. Okay, thank you, Jeff. And now you guys see we are into P7 and we are going to pick the end of lap 4 because, guys, I wanted to go for an undercut. I know Monza is one of the hardest circuits to get an undercut going because if you fall out of the slipstream, you basically just, you, you, uh, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Even my English has gone down the drain, guys. I mean, come on. Come on. Um, if you go out of the slipstream, you really put yourself at a disadvantage. There's the word I'm looking for, disadvantage. You really put yourself at a disadvantage because slipstream here around Monza is so, so critical. It's not even funny. As you guys see, come the end of lap 4, we have dove into the pit lane. I just think the fresh rubber is going to mean a lot on the, on this F2 car. And I'm going to try and get myself into that top 6, well, I'm 7th place, into that top 7 fight to maybe get myself a P5 running here. But as you guys know, the F2 pit stops are much lower than the F1 pit stops. And now, here we go. There goes myself out of the pit box. And now it is time to put in a quality lap. As we are heading towards the rest of the field, guys, you guys can see it is still Nick the Freeze fighting away with Luca Giotto. As we head into the final corner, will one of these guys actually dive it into the pit lane like we did? Let's have a look, see, and they no, they're actually driving past, but no, 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 set their camera has dove it into the pit lane. And these two, the Univirtuosi car of Giotto and the ART of the Freeze are barreling down the home straight. It's a drag race to the first quarter. Who is going to be the latest of the late breakers? It looks like it's going to be Nick the Freeze. Will he give Giotto the squeeze or will he leave him the space? He actually left him the space, but the Freeze gets the move down on Luca Giotto. And he takes back the lead of the Italian future race here for the F2 weekend. Now guys, jumping back, we're just going, having a little bit of a replay to um, Sergio at the camera who actually went in, came into the pit lane. Um, before that move happened, as you guys saw. And now let's see how the pit stop goes. Force of their camera, and actually this I think is Mick Schumacher and the Prima behind him. The Prima team will be looking to have a good weekend here at Italy, for it is their home Grand Prix, home race, home weekend, whatever. With FT, you never know what to say. That is actually a very good pit stop there from the Dams team to get to their camera back out onto the track. And as you guys see, we jump onto our POV as I run. Ooh, very wide! Ooh. That's not a little wide, that's very wide coming out of the final corner, guys. I was just a little bit too eager and the car understeered like crazy. So you guys see now we go here. Oh, that is... Ooh. What was my idea there? Was I on a suicide mission? I basically skimmed the Louis de la Trace, but guys, I just think I went for the... The the um, the, um, the, the extra speed air which you get from, from Slipstream, even though it wasn't a lot. 
I think that's all I went for in that scenario. But as you guys see, coming to the end of the next step, it is the end of lap six. Now, Nick the Freeze, Luca Giotto, and Jack Aitken are diving it into the pit lane. Now we will see if the guys who put it earlier, going for the undercuts, if their undercut has paid off. That is the main thing. Has the undercut paid off for us who have come in earlier? Here you guys see, it's Nick the Freeze off with the soft tires. On with the mediums, well I hope it's medium tires, I think it is medium tires. And, oh the Freeze gets held up by the frame of Sean Galeo and, oh my word, the Freeze gets jumped by not one, not two, but three cars. And now we have to look at where Sete Camera is, but I think uh, Sete Camera has been held up by this man, who is Mick Schumacher. But guys, the Freeze got passed by Latifi, by um, Giotto and by Jack Aitken. Oh, why did Schumacher break as he came down the straight there? That's a little bit of, of, uh, well, of fear there on the side of Schumacher, in my opinion. He was a little bit hasty to keep his foot flat, flat to the floor. But as you guys see, I have caught up right onto the back of this group. And now it is time to race. But that is what I thought. You guys will see later on. I just didn't have the pace to stick with these guys. Look at that, guys. Look at the gap already between myself and Nick the Freeze. And this is only two laps later. Now we have Luca Giotto going for a move on the race leader, Nicholas Latifi. As they head into the first quarter, the drag race becomes an overtaking session. And now it is Luca Giotto leading the way from Nicholas Latifi in P2 and Jack Aitken in P3. Mick Schumacher is in P4 with Nick the Freeze P5. And I find myself in P6. Do you guys see me jump onto the, the very next lap onto the POV of Nicholas Latifi? And now he has got the DRS um, advantage over Luca Giotto. Guys, Monza is the not not the stop speed tempo. It is the slip stream tempo on F1 2019. And as you guys see in the background, I'm under pressure from Delatraz and Joe as they are trying to get my P6 from me. I am one position away from a P5 finish in this race. But guys, I just didn't have the pace. For some other reason, my car did not have any grip on the rear and I really struggled through the, the, um, the two dead dust and actually the final corner. So um, I don't know why I actually put on one extra click of downforce on my rear wing um, after my practice incident because bef even before the DRS failure, I could feel the rear end was really unstable. So I put an extra click on and in qualifying it felt fine. But for some other reason in the race, the car just felt absolutely atrocious. So as you guys see now, it is Mick Schumacher trying to make a move on Jack Aitken. Guys, we've got five different constructors for F2 here in the top five. We've got Nick Zifi in a Dams car, Luca Giotto in a Uni Virtuosi, Jack Aitken in a Campos, um, Mick Schumacher for in Prima, and also Nick the Freeze in an ART. Why did all those guys jolt like that? Oh my great goodness, they just gave me a heart attack. As I am still battling in the background there with Louis Delatraz. But this battle is far more interesting than the battle between myself, Delatraz, and Joe. As now you guys see here, we go to the POV of Big Schumacher and Jack Aitken and Nick Delatraz TV are side by side. Who will steal the slipstream from Luca Giotto ahead of them? It looks like it was actually more Latifi than Aitken. But Aitken is on the outside for the first part of the chicane, the inside for the second part. He has to leave the room for Latifi because there's no runoff at the exit of that chicane. It is just gravel. But Aitken gets the move down and takes P2 away from Latifi. As now you guys see, this is once again Delatraz pressurizing me. And guys, I just, I, I prayed for this race to please finish because I was under pressure from, from Delatraz and show like, like you guys can't imagine. But luckily now I will have the slipstream and the DRS as we are. I think we are rounding this part of the track now for the final time. Maybe not. No, 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 wait. Let me look at my time. Let me look at my little script here. And uh, no, actually not. There's still a fair few laps of racing to go. As you guys see now, I'm going to get the advantage with the slipstream and the DRS. But I still have to worry about that second Uni Virtuosi car. Who is being driven by Guan Yu Zhou very aggressively. As you guys see, look at the closing speed with DRS and slipstream. There is no comparison. We go to the outside to have the inside for the second part of the first chicane. Then it just actually goes for a little bit of an early corner there. That looked like a corner cut to my opinion. But as we come, we come out of the corner, Dela Chaz is still there. Guys, just coming out of a corner, also putting the power down was so hard. The rear end just really didn't work with me this, this whole race. And I was just, I was really frustrated at the stage. Oh, I nearly run into the back of the Dela Chaz. But you guys see that I go for a major dive. And this is, I hope, the part where I break away. But I uh, know because I already spoke too soon. So you guys see, once again, he is right on my gearbox, heading into the trip chicane. 
Will he have the move done? I think he will. Oh, that's a massive lock up from De La Trace. He opens the door up to me. Thank you very much, Louis De La Trace. I will take that with a smile on my face as I actually run wide coming out of the trip chicane. Just opening myself up once again. But maybe, just maybe, Guan Yu will put De La Trace under pressure, relieving the pressure from myself. We really have to be careful heading to this next section. Then of Traz V Joe. We have to get the drive coming out of the corner. That will give us the advantage of coming down the home straight. As we play with the track limits, they're coming out of the final hairpin. And now, heading down the straight, you guys can see I'm using all the track possible to me because I want to stay out of the slipship of these two guys. They both got DRS on me. Heading into the first corner, I jolt to the inside. It's a three wide moment. Three wide moments heading into the first corner. Oh, there's a little bit of popping and barging. Oh, my word! Oh, my word! Guan Yu Zhou has been spun! But did I spin him or did Delatra spin him? Oh my word guys, 3 wide moment, let's have a replay here. What's up, what's up? Okay look, there was the, there's no space for 3 cars there, so naturally I forced Guan Yu Zhou into the path of Delatra. But that is not me that spun Zhou, that is the doing of Louis Delatra. As you guys see there, there's no space there. There is no space there. I really feel bad for Guan Yu Zhou guys because he really drove spectacularly this whole race. As you guys see there, that is out and out the, the mistake of Louis Delatraz. As you guys see, everybody in the door, watch out! Oh my great goodness. These guys are having the pile up of a lifetime. Nikita Masipin, don't make the same mistake. Don't, don't, okay, thank goodness. Everybody has cleared up. Guys, look at the debris on that part of the track. As Guan Yu Zhou just um, rejoined the track there. But now you guys see, we jump back to the leaders. This is Jack Aitken trying to make a move for the lead of the Italian feature race here in F2. As he has the DRS and the slipstream on Luca Giotto heading into the first corner. Will Jack take the move, take the position from Luca Giotto? Yes, he will. And Jack Aitken has taken the lead of the, of the feature race here in Italy. And as you guys see, I am now in a solid P P6 position. Now just trying to stay ahead of Louis De La Traz. As you guys see, everybody who ran into each other at the end of that little kerfuffle between De La Traz, myself and Joe. A lot of guys broke their front wings, so they are all diving it into the pit lane to have their front wings replaced. This is such a shame because some of these guys were actually having some very good races. This is Dorian Boccalacci, the second Campos car, as his front nose gets replaced as well as now his front tires. The rear mechanics are like, come on guys, you're so slow, you're so slow, come on, come on. Get a move on, get a move on. But guys, now we come through for to start the final lap here for the feature race in Italy. It's a five car battle for first place. When last have you, have you been able to say that? Heading into the first quarter, Giotto actually cuts off the nose of Jack Aitken as he takes back the lead of the Italian feature race. But this race is still long, not done. There's still a fair bit of this lap to go. But we jump to the end of that lap, guys. You guys see, I have got no more grip left in my tires. And De La Traz has just made a move on me to take P6. I'm not going to allow this. Let's go for a major dive up the inside here of De La Traz. No contact made whatsoever. It's a beautiful move from ourselves. Driving us at you bear. But guys, we jump back to the band of the hour. It is Luca Giotto. He is rounding the final corner. And he will take the feature race win here in Italy. From Jack Aitken in P2 and Nicholas Atif in P3. We are on the other hand is gonna, are gonna come home in a solid P6 position as we hang on by the skin of our team from Louis de la Traz. Get in there to a P6 here in Italy! Alright, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Brilliant stuff from Uni Virtuosi today. That's another historic win. And Davide Valsecchi, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? I think this race was won thanks to the tyre management. You have to remember, it's not just about going as fast as you can. It's about consistency. It's about maintaining your speed over an entire race distance. So being able to keep the lap time competitive while still respecting the tyres, that's where they won today. After this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. It's a good result for Antoine Hubert, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? I have to give it to Giuliano Alesi. One of the best things about Formula 2 is watching these young drivers grow and mature, and it feels like his career took a big step forward today.
And here's how things are shaping up in the team's championship. Dams move further ahead at the top of the standings. Goodbye for now then, but we really are just getting started. Make sure you join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. And here we are, back after yesterday's exciting feature race for today's sprint. The top eight from yesterday have been reversed for the grid down below, and we're almost ready to start. As we await the start of another hugely anticipated Formula 2 race, I'm joined again by Davide Valsecchi. Davide, as a former GP2 champion, can we get some insight to what is running through these young drivers' heads as they sit out on the grid? Ciao, Alex. It's a pleasure to be here. They are nervy moments. There is no doubts about that. Mental strength is the key to remaining calm and focusing on the upcoming race. Formula 2 is so competitive, and all of these drivers know that they are going to be pushing each other all of the way. In these sports, you have to be able to control your nerves. You can run side by side into the retifilio, but don't break too late on these cold tires or you will hit someone. Thank you, Jeff. Twice in one weekend you have taught me exactly the same thing before the race. But in any case, guys, we are starting from, from P3 on the grid. The front row is headed by the two Carl and cars of Nubuharu Matsushita and Louis Delatraz. This is going to be one heck of a fight for the feet, uh, no, not the feature race, the sprint race win. Uh, yes, I am rusty thanks to a more than a month of absence. But guys, sprint race time. Can we save us something from this weekend? Five red lights and it's go, go, go for the sprint race here. And it, in Italy for four minutes too. She guys here immediately going to cover off Nick the Freeze. But I think it's going to be to no avail because once again, I've had an absolutely atrocious start. I keep to the inside to try and go up the inside of Nick the Freeze. Right there, there we go. Guys, I did a park for my regulations. I am not allowed to tune my car, so I still had that unstable rear end. But bloody hell, I am not. And I repeat, I will not suffer the same fate that I did in the feature race. Let's push, boys. Pedal to the metal. Do we jump back to our POV for our start, guys? As you guys see, I get the jump on the on the AI, but second gear just bogs us so badly in these F2 cars. And Nick the Freeze just says, "Thank you very much. That's P3 for me." And even Mick Schumacher and the Prima try something. Luckily. I am the latest of the late breakers, just like Daniel Ricardo, and I get my P3 back from Nick the Freeze. And now we are chasing after those two blue Carlin cars, and I will not settle to just defend the whole race for P3. I want a win here in Italy, just like I got a win back at Belgium, the race where Anton Hubert unfortunately lost his life. Guys, this season, I repeat, for those of you guys that have forgotten, is for Antoine Hubert. I'm not dedicating just a video to him, even though I did that um, in my first season of F1 2019 at the Spa, uh, at the Belgium Grand Prix. But guys, this entire season, the 2019 F2 season, is dedicated to Antoine Hubert. And now it is time to chase after these two Carlins, just like I know Antoine Hubert would have done if he was still with us. In any case, guys, back to the race. As you guys see, Louis de la after that very, very... What, what's the word I'm looking for? After that very intense battle with myself in the feature race, now it is time to chase after him. And I think he just wants to get in front of, in front of Matsushita because he doesn't want to deal with me again. And as you guys see now, heading here into the final here, but you guys see this time I'm a lot more controlled. I, I actually, I learned a little bit of something from this F2 car in the, the feature race. So um, I really had good control of it in the sprint race. As you guys see, Delatraz um, pulls to the inside after the slipstream. No DRS just yet, remember, DRS gets activated as lap 3 starts. And here we go, into the first corner, there we go. Will Matthew shoot the defend from his teammate Delatraz, as I am trying to, to chase after him while I'm being hounded by Nick the Freeze from behind. The Freeze, get your, your, your bum out of here, man. Get out of here. I want to chase these two boys. Yes, yes. And as you guys see, Delatraz got the move done on Matsushita. And Delatraz is the new leader of the sprint race here at Monza. But the question is, will he be able to keep it? As we head to the end of lap 2 and as we start lap 3, where DRS will be activated. But now, not yet on the home straight. 
DRS is not activated just yet, but now Matsushita is going to go for the move on his Steve, just like his Steve did to, did to him. But Matsushita, Matsushita opts for the outside of the first corner. Oh, as the address locks up, and there's a tiny bit of contact between the two teammates, heading to the second part of the, of the first chicane. Now they are running side by side. Heading into this constant bending right hand, not constant, but, but mainly bending right hand, uh, flat out of basically any car. Or. And as you guys see, here we go, heading into the corner. Matsushita will have the inside for the first part of the chicane. Dillich has the outside, as Dillich has another little lockup through the corner. But it is still side by side for the two Carlin teammates. To call in a team, mate. These guys are not giving each other an inch. Is that Delatra squeezing out Matsushita? They are still side by side. It has been more, basically half a lap now. And as you guys see, finally, finally, I think that is the, the, the call in of Delatra who was squeezed out there. But now me and Nick the Freeze are in this fight. And as you guys know, it's actually Matsushita who was squeezed out. Matsushita goes to the outside. I go to the inside. It's a massive opportunistic move there. But um, Matsushita gets squeezed to the outside. He goes wide. I have a little bit of a bump and tug there with Delatraz. It was a little slight bit of contact. I'm lucky to have not broken my front wing. But we take P2 thanks to Delatraz forcing his teammate to go wide. And now it is us trying to go for a... For a, a a ray well what's the what's the words I'm looking for? It's us on our way to make a move for the race lead. Let's just leave it at that as I run wide again! Come on, Turbo! Get a hold of yourself. You can't run wide every time at, the, at that corner. But as you guys see, now I'm under pressure from uh, and Matsushita and the Freezers. They've got the DRS on me, but I've got DRS on Delatras. Let's go, latest of the late breakers. Heading into the first corner. I go around the outside of Delatras. He leaves me the room. But I have to bounce my car over the inside curb. Delatraz keeps the position. But now I'm going to have the slipstream all the way to the next chicane. I actually had a very good um, exit out of that first chicane. And now as you guys see, Matsushita is defending from the freeze. And now we are going to go for the inside. Onto the brakes. Let's see, can we get Delatraz? We are into the chicane. Yes, we do! We take the, the lead here of the sprint race here in Italy. Now let's see if we can break away. Um, and no, we can't. Nope, nope, no, we can't. Slipstream Temple, and I'm the only one without Slipstream. Now, I've got two Carlins of Matsushita Delatra and Delatraz as well. As the ART of Nick the Freeze chasing me down. And that was nearly a 4 1 moment. Heading into the first corner, you guys see I opt for the inside line. It is 3 1 between myself and the two Carlin cars. There's a little bit of contact between myself and Delatraz as he takes away a chunk of my rear wing what happened there guys there's a chunk of my rear wing missing look at the left the handed side of my rear wing there's literally a chunk missing thanks to that contact that i made with delatraz okay well i've got a chunk of my rear wing missing that has never happened to me on f1 2019 but now guys what louis delatraz wanted to avoid is now happening once again he is the hunter and i am the hunted heading into the trip chicane as you guys see, Delatraz goes for the inside move. I hang around the outside. We go through here. We just not a side by side moment! Oh my word! Delatraz is out of the race. A massive crash for Louis Delatraz. Have I, have I kept it out of the wall? Oh my word, guys. I gave him enough space, but still there's just no room through there. Oh my word. Delatraz gets sent into a spin, and I had to run through the gravel trap. Oh my goodness, guys. This is the view from Nubuhara Matsushita. So you guys look here. I left... Delatraz more than enough room. That was just absolute carnage. Louis Delatraz is out of the sprint race here in Formula 2. And as you guys see, Nick the Freeze caught Matsushita sleeping. And now heading to the next part of the track. Now even, I think that is Sete Caro trying to make a move up the inside of Matsushita. Now, but oh, this yellow flag. The safety car has been deployed for that accident between myself and Delatraz. Oh my great goodness. Guys, I don't know what you guys think. But please drop in the comments down below if you think that incident was my fault or Delatraz's fault. I personally think that's just a racing incident. Um, I mean, it, the, rubbing is racing. Rubbing is racing. And guys, now heading to the end of lap 8. We've got 3 laps to go. And the safety car's coming in. You guys can see I am waiting for the freeze to catch up with me. And I was just like, no man. You've, you had more than enough time. Come on. Chase me down, boy. Chase me down. And now, as the safety car enters the pit lane, we are back. To green flag racing and now trust me the only reason that is happening is because I got the jump on him at the end of the safety car period so guys it is going to be myself versus Nick De Vries versus Nicholas Latifi for the win here of the Italian sprint race guys I'm not gonna lie I'm not too impressed with my performance in the feature race I just didn't have the pace that the AI had so I really want to do good here in the sprint race as we head to the end of lap 9 we are going to start lap 
10 and now as you guys see once again I use the max amount of track coming out of the final layer but it gives you a great amount of speed but now I am under pressure from uh, Nicholas Latifi and now as you guys see look at the auto the winner of the feature race is actually going for the move on Nick Schumacher as he dives to the outside of Mick Schumacher he goes to the outside the number 8 and the number 9 card is actually very funny that they are this, uh, the, just one number apart coming out of the first corner I successfully defended from Latifi but will Giotto have the run on Mick Schumacher because Giotto is a man on a mission this weekend here in Italy as we head through this next section I think Giotto will have the run but actually Schumacher is still side by side with him I thought that uh, Giotto pulled ahead a bit Schumacher gives Giotto the squeeze Schumacher is not taking any prisoners here. He wants to make his team proud at their home race. And Schumacher defends from Giotto. But as you guys see there in the background, here comes Giotto again. Oh, and Schumi has a lockup. Schumacher has a lockup. And that gives Louis Della. Oh, Louis Della just Look at Giotto. A free P4. And now he is chasing after us. Who start the final lap here in Italy for the sprint race? It is myself, Vila TV, Vida Freeze. And if you give Giotto any chance, he will be in the uh, part of this battle. So you guys see, I just went for for uh, w go, went for broke there as I jolted back to the racing line and I kept my P1. But Latifi and the Freeze are not having any any inch about it. They want to take this position from me, and who can blame them? As we head into this next part, guys, heading into the second chicane, it is Antoine Hubert v Nick Latifi v Nick the Freeze, and I am still holding them up. Giotto defends successfully from Schumacher who tried to take back the P4. And now guys, we run on board with Luca Giotto. And guys, look at this part. I really used my tires quite hard to try and stay ahead. So this last lap, I could feel the tire wear was against me. And guys, heading through the two deadlines, you guys can see how Giotto is closing up to us. Does he have DRS? No, he does not. But the two guys right behind me does have, do have DRS, not does, do have DRS. And heading into the trip chicane, here comes Nicholas Latifi. Don't do the same thing, they're interested to me. I'm leaving even more room. But Latifi has got the move done. We go for the switchback move. And now heading down the final back straight. Here comes Giotto, thanks to me and Latifi holding up the freeze. It is a, oh, this is a deadly full wide. Oh my son, I dive to the inside to cover them all off. We go to the final corner. Oh, there's a spin in the background. There's a spin in the background. Where's Latifi? This is Giotto coming for the move. Oh my soul! Give him the squeeze! Give him the squeeze! Ooh! Ooh! Absolutely awesome. Just amazing. Well done. How did we survive that? Oh my soul. Guys, you can tell me what you want. That was probably a bit dirty from my side to give Giotto the squeeze as we ran to the line. But oh my word, what happened here? Giotto had such a great amount of speed coming out of that the final time out of the trip chicane. And as you guys see, I dived to the inside. I had no contact with anybody. Latifi actually had a lockup and then he just spun. That's really weird to me. As you guys see, I run wide to try and get the power down. Here comes Giotto. And at this stage, I just squeezed him. I was like, no, you are not getting this position. We take the word for this for the sprint race. But guys, let's quickly look at what happened. Oh, Latifi made contact with the freeze and that is what spun him. Oh my goodness, okay. And then it was us three heading to the line. But guys, what a sprint race here in Italy! Brilliant stuff from Arden today. What a superb victory. Davide, what do you think made the difference here? Wow, well, there's no doubt that the race was impacted as soon as the safety car made an appearance. It was so important how the successful team today react to this situation. They were decisive and stuck to their strategy, which really helped them take an advantage. And it's time now for the podium celebrations. And how well deserved is this one? This is a team all about giving talented young drivers an opportunity to race and to win. Arden are your winners here today. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. It's a good result for Antoine Hubert, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. And now, Davide Valsecchi, let me ask you, who is your driver of the day? Antoine Hubert. 
The Arden driver just surprised me today. It was impressive. On to the teams then. The lead at the top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging pack. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from ART this time out, and they improve their position in the championship. Well, what a weekend that has been. Please join us next time for another thrilling installment when Formula 2 returns. Can you deal with that? Guys, what a race. As you guys can hear, my voice is completely gone. Those last two laps of the sprint race, oh my word. Look guys, I, I, this is definitely a contender for weekend of the season. But this season it's got some good arrivals. Unlike last season with the 2018 season. But oh my soul, guys, what an absolutely crazy, crazy weekend here in Italy. Even the feature race, the less impressive race of the two, was still an absolutely bone-shaking Bone shaking epic epic race. I mean, it's indescribable. This was really absolutely awesome. And uh, this is the highlights from the sprint race, guys, because obviously that was the race to watch. And this video is already 40 minutes long. But can you guys blame me? With that amount of action, this was absolutely awesome. Oh my goodness, guys, if you've liked what you've seen today and you haven't done it yet, please drop a like on the video down below. I will highly appreciate that. Please, likes. You guys don't know how much likes mean. It can really change a YouTuber's whole journey on YouTube. Likes are, for a beginner YouTube, more important than subscribers. Talking about subscribers, if you're new to the channel and you haven't done it yet, and you love this amazing content, hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to ding the bell to never miss a future episode of Turbo Fox Races. And guys, finally, you are the word of mouth. Please share this video with your friends so we can get more viewers to the channel and I can start doing this for you guys permanently. Guys, once again, an absolutely epic weekend of F2 action. Feature race, sprint race, 40 minutes of mind-blowing action. I hope that you guys have enjoyed every second of this because trust me, I did and I raced and watched this. It was amazing. I'll see y'all next time. Cheers!